welcome back to another video here we are Sophia and Stella and myself hello Stella so we've had a bit of a doozy it's Easter long weekend and it's Thursday before the Good Friday and uh, we picked a really cool campsite and then uh, we got up early to drive and beat the traffic and I we needed water so I found a water place that was an hour out half of the hour. way so half an hour away half an hour past our campsite so we've just stopped at this beautiful sports ground which has given us some hopefully relatively clean water and uh yeah so we just filled up the caravan and we're now on the way to our campground hopefully we can still find a spot we wanted to get a head start but um just with all the stops it did get a little bit a little bit late it's now two o'clock so hopefully people are still at work and yeah hopefully there's a site available for us otherwise there's not a lot of dog friendly campsites around the blue um, mountains national park understandably because it's in a national park but um, yeah we just want to stay sort of in the outskirts and yeah we don't want to drive too much because it, it's a very steep road as you can see super steep How's it going? I'm not going to make it up this hill. So here we are, we're approaching Cathedral Reserve Camping Grounds and it looks beautiful. Wow. It smells good too. The air is so fresh. I oh. love it. All right. Clear your lungs. Everybody cross their fingers. Stella? Stella, cross your paws. <laughs> Will, will we Here get we a are, spot? Cathedral Reserve. Will we get a spot? Is the question now. There's a few people set up, which is fine. We just need to find the caravan sites. Well, they said it's all the way down to the left on your right or something like that. So left. Yeah. They go left here. This caravan might be a bit high for this stuff. Just take a wide turn. No vehicle access through there. I reckon the caravan section's here. What do you think? Surely. It said left. We could probably get it in there, so. Like reverse it in there nicely. Horrid. Look at all the autumn leaves. Beautiful. Okay, so we've actually gone from worrying about not having a spot. And we've just gotten here and it is ghost town. <laughs> Empty. And now we've got a choice to what spot we want, which is a lot harder than we thought because we need sun for solar there's a communal fire pit i don't think it's communal i think it belongs to the site because but this this whole thing can't be one site so the caravan sites the tent ones were over there let's go we'll go for a walk have a look yeah, how good is this easter long weekend and uh so we've got two campers here three if you want to include us very happy with it Hey Stella, you happy with that? Uh, you've got toilets over there. We're yeah, pretty close to the toilets. I don't know what he's There's to bins everywhere. It's very nice. We so we're thinking this here, this green area here is for tents. Yeah, so you can't access via vehicle. And then you've got basically drive-in bays, drive-through sites and everything, isn't it? It's good. Mm. Stella, over here. Come on! Stop! <laughs> Stella, you're gonna run over. Okay, here we are. We finally made it. We finally decided on a spot for the caravan. We have to be very mindful. It's not that flat here. And also, if you have a look at the setup of this, of this site, I'll show you now. So that's the entrance. And then it comes in to like a fire pit and then there's a road through there to the other campsite now if we had camped car in in the case of an emergency or if people set up around we're not going to be able to to get out so we have to make sure that the car was facing out um you know in case something does go down we can leave got a nice little branch that's come with us hopefully not too much 
of a problem. And then, yeah, we tried to find the flattest ground we could. Got the leveller there. And I reckon happy days. We wanted to go there because the fire pit, but that was really bad level wise. So, either way, here we are. The solar is in the sun. That Starlink should peek through here, hopefully. Happy days. Stella over here has been trying to eat the wasps and we don't want that happening so Sam's just getting a fire started in our little weather. We do have a bigger fire pit over there but we need this to be a little bit closer to home. Good morning. So today we've left the caravan or leaving the caravan and we're headed to a town called Katoomba. We're gonna do a bit of an explore and a walk with Stella. We found a nice walk in Katoomba, which is dog friendly, which is great. Watch out for the but let me tell you, we arrived here on Thursday and because it's long weekend, as you probably know, it was dead. So we were really surprised and we got to set up all by ourselves in the middle of the forest. It was amazing. Yeah, we were like, this is how could it exist? Now it's Friday and let me tell you, it is hacked. Should we go left? It is packed. When I say packed, we had people arrive last night about 9 p.m. and set up. We're talking groups of people, which is which was expected. I mean, we're not shocked, but just letting you know that it's not as free as we thought it was. Here's hope. Is that it? about leaving the caravan but that's that's the reality of free camping you sort of have to just trust it and that's what insurance is for <laughs> so insurance if you're watching this and uh something happened to our caravan there's a lot of people we were like careful we locked everything we locked everything and there's heaps of people around i don't think anyone's going to try to pull anything no I doubt, it. I doubt it there's a lot i didn't know there was this many people in here look at that yeah and you know what though there's still a few spots Okay, so we've just driven an hour from our campsite to get to this place called Five Falls Circuit. And I tell you right now, the whole country is here. <laughs> Alright, so we found the track. Hey, Soph? Yeah. And, uh, Stella is keen as get back. Alright, there's quite a narrow path. <laughs> Oh, all right, here we go. There's a bit of a sign. Here it is, two hour walk. Is it a two hour walk, is it? I love it. So it's only a short walk down to Adelina Falls. Um, we've still got a little bit more to go. Oh, I've had to take Stella off leash. She was gonna pull my shoulder out of socket. When there's water around, she's like a different dog. She's just nuts. There you go. Hey, you better settle down, okay? 
but we've trained Stella. When I say go get mommy, which is Soph, I've trained her to go and identify where Soph is and make sure she's okay. So watch this, right? Soph's maybe 20 meters behind me and Stella's 20 meters in front of me. Stella, come here. Come on, over here. Here, come on. Go get mommy. Go get mommy. Go get mommy. Go get mommy. And now she'll just go make sure that she's okay. No one's harming her. She hasn't fallen. And if it's all good, she'll come straight back and let me know. So that's pretty cool. So she's just smotted her. How is she, Stella? Oh, there she is coming now. All right, what falls is this? Junction Falls. Junction Falls, have a look. Finally made it to the car after thinking we were lost about four times. G'day and we're back and it's been a long time in between scenes and that's because when we got back from our walk yesterday, the campsite we were on, all this whole sort of camping ground had filled up by the thousands and we are talking, I'll take you for a quick walk. Alright, so back to what we were saying before. It's been a long time in between scenes. The last you would have seen is that we've left that park. That nice, beautiful walk. Yes, girls? Beautiful walk, yeah. yeah, it was great. So we got back to our campsite, and as expected, it was busy. Like, there was people everywhere setting up on top of each other. It was chaos, right? Which is fine. We look mind. That's fine. We had people walking around scoping out sites, and we said, you can have the you know spot next to us. We don't mind. And we were lucky enough to get really, really nice neighbours. But the, their neighbours, my goodness, it was a group of people that were absolutely drunk at about midday. Or oh, what time did we get back, sorry? It was like 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, sorry. So they were drunk at 3 p.m., yelling, shouting, music was jamming. And we thought, it's fine, you know, it's a long weekend, people are enjoying, enjoying their, themselves, it's fine. Yeah, it was fine during the day. Up until midnight, where the music got weirder and louder. It was like being a... Not a rave, like... Bushdorf. Bushdorf, I guess. It was a Bushdorf. We were in the middle of a Bushdorf, which again, it's a free camp. We expected the worst. Yeah, and but it went on until 2 a.m. It went on until 2 a.m. And, and then, then woke up at 5 a.m. and they were yelling and shouting. And we spoke to the neighbours and they said, yep, we didn't get a blink of sleep because they were intense. And we were lucky enough, we were in the caravan. Yeah. So it was a little bit insulated for us, but for the neighbours, they were, yeah. So we decided to pack the caravan up We'll catch you at the next place. That's long weekend camping for it's you. It's only half an hour away, so we'll still be in the Blue Mountain. Okay, so we did it. We managed to find the place 20 minutes down the road in... Where are we? In Hartley. It's called Venice Caravan Park and it's only 17 bucks per person so we paid 36 for the night. Power, water, showers, washing machine. I'm actually quite shocked that we found the place in the middle of the long weekend. Alright so we are off to do some exploring. We're gonna go and do a night walk in Katoomba. So stick around. Yeah. Where are we going? Katoomba Falls Lookouts first, which is oh, five minutes away. <laughs> so Sam and Stella are hiding in here, and I think I don't know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a nut. Yeah. 
So this is the first stop. I think this one's Katoomba Falls. Look at So there's the falls there. Amazing. I don't think the video does it justice. And then you can see amazing sunset. And there's a cable car there. That's scenic world. But we won't be doing that. <laughs> Some people are scared of heights. They make me uncomfortable. If you're in this area and you've got a dog, this is a fantastic walk to do with your dog at night. Yeah. It's so much fun. Stella's having a ball. Yeah, pretty happy. Don't oh. fall. Oh. It's a good jump. <laughs> this is up there with one of the best lookouts with what we've yeah. seen. We don't usually like lookouts, but this is amazing. Oh, it's a really nice dog friendly scenic walk, which we recommend if you're in the area. Still. Especially like at sunset, I would say is the best time to do it because um, it's a nightlit walk, so the parts are all, are all lit up, and yeah, you get to catch this amazing sunset. Have a look. So that's us for this video. Yeah, thanks um, for watching. We've done a few dog-friendly activities and some camping spots. Our, our first time in the Blue Mountains, so if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. We'll be back. We like it. It's good. I love it. It's yeah. a nice place. It's just a little bit cold. <laughs> Which we hate. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next Thanks. one.